Whoopsie! <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tagging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and Johnny steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Tim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim, we play our games. <coughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life, and I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day. So I'll start with that. One sunny day. And now I'll draw the river with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Today, I get my life jacket on and have a look at my book. I'm going to go down the River Avon today, right round the town of Evesham to Hampton. So I'll get the engine started, cast off, and on my way. Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? And my book says that when I get further down here, around the big bend, I'll come to a bridge. And I've got to go under that. And then I'll come to Hampton Ferry. It's rather an unusual ferry, carries people across the river. And I think that'll give me an idea for a story. Jim, what's a ferry? Hmm. I think he said it's something that takes people across a river. Oh, well, why don't they walk? Because bridges take people across rivers too, Noggin. Don't know. I wonder which arch I should go through. One. Two. Or three. A bridge with one, two, three arches. And I know which one he's going to go through, Rosie. He's going to go through this one or this side. Fizz pot. We're going to go through that one on that side. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> Duck thinks we're going to go through the middle one. Middle fiddle. My book says I have to go through the middle arch because that's where the water's deepest. There's the sign. Hampton Ferry. We must be getting close. And my book says that I have to give three toots 
to warn the ferryman that I'm approaching. So. Rosie is tooting, come quick! Oh, oh no! Rosie, we're gonna crash! Oh, has he seen the other boat? No! We're gonna crash, Rosie! Oh, oh what a fizzpot! We're gonna crash right to the, to the, the bottom of the river! Duck, do something! Get him to stop the boat! Fizzlepot, duck saved us just in time. <laughs> oh yes. Hey duck, look, there's nothing to worry about now. That man's gone to wind that rope down, down, down out of our way. Tim, where's the rope gone? On to the bottom of the river, Rosie. Oh, Fizzle, <laughs> so we've just floated over the top of it. <laughs> See, that man over there turned the handle round and round and, and it went, went down, down and down and down. And down. Thank you. Winding the boat up out of the water again. Rosie's! Rosie! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, Rosie? Yeah? We're stopping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, the ferry can only take people and animals across the river. Cars and buses and lorries have to go over the bridge that I came under. Hello, can I come across on your ferry? Yes. Not too heavy, am I? No. I'm quite big, you know. <laughs> oh, that's it. Hello, I'm John. Hello, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. I'll sit down. This dog is very heavy, isn't he, Rosie? <laughs> yeah, but he won't sink the boat, Jim. No. <laughs> How many people can you carry on this ferry? Ten. Ten people? Yeah. And then it's hard work? Yeah, very hard. <laughs> how, how does it work, um, going across? Just pull it across by the rope. Just pull across. So that's how it works. <laughs> you just pull. Yeah, pull it right across the river. <laughs> I was just wondering, you know, does anybody ever forget to toot and uh, <laughs> crash into the rope? Yeah. What happens then? They just bounce off it. They just bounce off. We tooted just in time. Yeah, <laughs> duck saved us. Thank you very much. Bye. It's a really hot day today, and what I'd really fancy would be a nice ice cream. I can see a place over there. Hello, are you open for ice cream? Yeah. Um, well, I'd like something. I'm not quite sure what. Um, uh, have you got any tubs? Yeah, like a tub. Oh, just the thing. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. This is our ferry, Jim. Yeah. And, Rosie, this is Fizzgog, and he wants to come across on the ferry, please. No. Fizzgog will be far too heavy, and he will sink the ferry right to the bottom of the river. He won't sink it to the bottom of the river, will he? Yeah. No. He won't, Rosie. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. Off we go. Won't sink, will he? No. Told you it wouldn't sink. Oh, pull, 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 and that fizz got across the ferry. Now he's on the other side, and he will go full ferry. Excuse me, Mrs. Ferry Lady. There are some dogs want to come across, please, now. Oh, I wanted to have a rest now. Anyway, 
two dogs will be far too heavy. They will sink the ferry right to the bottom of the river, Jim. They won't, will they? Will. Won't. Will. No, they <laughs> won't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Oh, OK. Go dum, on, dum, bum, 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 bum. One dog and two dogs. <laughs> go on, off you go, scamper. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Fairy Lady Rosie, there are um, three elephants want to come across now, please. Oh, no. <laughs> three elephants? Mm -hmm. Well, they will definitely sink our ferry to the bottom of the river. They will be far too heavy, Jim. They won't sink it to the bottom of the river, will they? They will. They won't. They will. Let's try. <laughs> right. One elephant. Two elephants. And three elephants. I told you it was too heavy. Oh. Told you? It sunk right to the bottom of the river. I know. <laughs> I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on their boat when they saw a ferry, a little boat going across the water with a rope to pull it. That looks fun, said Jim. I wish we could do that. Perhaps we can. Of course we can, said Rosie. We'll use this ice cream tub and my bowl of wool. All right, said Jim. Let's try. But how will we get it across the river? You see, Noggin, said Rosie. She unrolled the wool. Whoops! What's that, said Rosie? An elephant! Hello, elephant. Would you like to play ferries and pull our boat across the water, said Rosie. I think she can do it, said Jim. Elephants like water. The elephant sploshed into the river and pulled Rosie and Jim across. We're going back over the bridge, said Jim. That was a lovely ride, said Rosie. Thank you, elephant, said Rosie and Jim. Thank you. Bye-bye. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old red dot. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye!